Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this updated video on what is happening across the Caribbean and what is expected. And so in this video, we'll be taking a look at the current weather conditions across the basin, as well as what is likely to happen as we're going to be heading into the early part of this week as a cold front is going to continue to make its way out of the U.S. and uh, will induce some cooler weather for parts of the Caribbean. And so before I Going to details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so of course, let's go ahead and kickstart things with this satellite imagery of the Caribbean. We're looking at infrared satellites here, and we're seeing that there isn't too much happening right now. Uh, definitely some activity, some of those clouds moving in from the east uh, might bring along with them some brief showers across sections of the eastern Caribbean. That's where we see a lot of those uh, cloud clusters. So uh, the possibility exists for some showers here and there across the eastern caribbean islands also for hispaniola not seen too much in the vicinity of jamaica but there is some shower and thunderstorm activity just offshore of grand cayman so that is what is happening right now across the caribbean and so as we're going to be heading into tomorrow, there is going to be a change uh, for some areas. And so looking back at this satellite imagery here of the Gulf of Mexico, we are definitely seeing all of this activity in association with the cold front. So uh, showers and thunderstorms are not really expected from this across uh, most of the Caribbean. So it's really going to be in terms of the temperature change as well as that wind direction shift for some areas. So let's go ahead and take Take a look at the temperature anomaly map from the GFS Euro and also the CMC model and so let's go ahead and start off with GFS so if you're not familiar with this map here we have the cooler colors those blues go into those purple shades that indicate below normal temperatures and uh, we have the warmer colors the yellows oranges reds that indicate above normal temperatures where we have the whites is where the temperature is pretty much normal normal or average within that area. And so of course this is today this morning Saturday the 11th of February and we can definitely see that mass of cold air over parts of Mexico as well as some of the southern states of the US and so as we're going to be progressing into tomorrow late tomorrow we're seeing here that all this cold air is going to be uh, bringing very cool temperatures to portions of Central America and parts of the Northwestern Caribbean including Western Cuba and then as we head to uh, Tuesday we see here that we're seeing some lighter shades of blue which means that the temperature is not going to be very very significant but those cooler winds uh, cooler nights for some areas especially Monday night so uh, it's really going to be some areas including uh, Florida the Bahamas as well as Cuba, the Cayman Islands, and maybe even Jamaica, feeling some of those cooler temperatures as we progress into Tuesday. But of course, heading to Wednesday, things are expected to clear up and temperatures are expected to return to normal, maybe a bit warmer across some areas. So that is what the GFS is anticipating. Moving on to the Euro. So this is uh, for tomorrow. And we're seeing here that, again, we have that massive cool air that the model is showing in the Gulf of Mexico. And as as we head to Tuesday, we can definitely see uh, where some areas, including Cuba, uh, the Bahamas, Florida, and even the Yucatan, uh, experiencing some of those below normal temperatures, and maybe even Jamaica as well. So somewhat in agreement with what the GFS is expecting here. And then as for the CMC model, we see a cooler mass of air that is expected by this model over parts of the southern U.S. and also into the uh, northwestern Gulf of Mexico and Mexico it's Itself. So looking at Sunday here, we really see a lot of very cool uh, temperatures expected for parts of southern uh, Mexico going into Guatemala, Belize, and also Honduras. But as we head to Monday here with the CMC, we're seeing that uh, all that is slowly going to be dissipating 
as we see those lighter blue shades and then eventually head into Tuesday things are mostly going to clear up so that is what the different models are expected in terms of that temperature change so the areas that are most likely going to be feeling that dip in temperature even if it's by a degree or two uh, below normal uh, in the Caribbean include the Yucatan as well as parts of Central America such as of course uh, Guatemala, Belize and even Honduras, the Cayman Islands, Cuba and maybe even Jamaica feeling a bit of that temperature drop and of course in the more elevated or hilly areas the temperature is going to be a lot cooler because naturally temperature decreases with height and now when we're talking about a cold front bringing all this mass of cool air uh, the temperature is definitely going to be more significant across those areas. But in terms of rainfall activity, let's look at the total accumulated precipitation expected by the Euro, GFS, and CMC models. And so, of course, we're going to be starting out with Euro and the different colors to the right side of your screen, or the different shades of the colors indicate different totals which are seen. Head into those greens and then progress into the blues and the shades of purple. That is when we have increasing totals expected. And so, this is from now to the the end of Monday so this is not all expected in just one day but we're seeing here that uh, for the Caribbean the areas that are expected to receive the most rainfall is in the western part of the basin of course just off Honduras and Guatemala so just within that tiny area right there and then heading over into Mexico we definitely see some higher totals there as well and then outside the Caribbean across the southeastern US uh, as a result of that front that that is the reason uh, there is going to be quite a bit of rainfall activity across some of those states but we see some of those higher totals offshore of the US and then head into the CMC model we're seeing here that something similar expected so not too much rainfall across the Caribbean uh, on a whole but as for Central America we're seeing here that some areas such as uh, really Mexico expected to receive quite a bit of rainfall between now and Monday and then as for the GFS it's a similar story here so we see this consistency among the models in terms of this expected rainfall so majority of that rainfall expected within the vicinity of Central America but looking over into the southeastern Caribbean and headed into the Atlantic where we have Trinidad and Tobago. We see some increased totals there as well over an inch of rainfall between now and Monday. So maybe a bit of increased rainfall likely within that area but for the rest of the region nothing much really anticipated as we're going to be progressing uh, into the new week. And so guys that is what is expected in terms of the different changes that are likely as a result of the passage of that front and then of course in terms of the wind direction shift uh, winds are mainly going to be coming out of the northwest for parts of Cuba western Cuba specifically and coming from the north for parts of Mexico and so this is not going to be very widespread because the front isn't a very intense one but that is what is going on and so if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be weather wise